homes have been flooded and multiple swift water rescues carried out as intense storms hit southeast Queensland, including Brisbane, the Sunshine Coast and inland towards Toowoomba. Several people were rescued from fast rising floodwaters overnight and thousands of homes are still without power as residents assess the damage. And that storm system is now impacting areas around Toowoomba, the Lockyer Valley and the Western Downs with an emergency alert issued for the town of Jandawi. Tobias Loftus reports from Queensland's Lockyer Valley where major flooding is occurring. The water has started to recede here in the main street of Laidley. Just half an hour ago where I was standing was uh, car was sort of, you know, just past your ankles in uh, water. Businesses here have been, have had a uh, I guess a thin layer of water through their shop fronts. Uh, it's been raining constantly while I've been here and it's been raining. Uh, the residents have told me it was raining all night around the place. Uh, the creek behind me, as you can see, is still flowing. It's still moving, but uh, uh, that creek was flowing where I was just before. Yes. So how's the community there coping? Yeah, so I've been speaking this morning to some business owners along with one of my colleagues who's here with me. They've been telling us that this is very reminiscent of what happened back in 2022, where this same creek rose and flooded some of these businesses. One of the business owners has only been in their shop for a short while, and they've uh, said that it's quite a bit of a stressful situation. They, But they thankfully were able to come in earlier this morning and save some of their merchandise. A, a local hairdresser that's just to the left of me, they were also able to get in early and were able to move things that could have been in the path of the water. So a lot of people are, uh, they're a bit stressed, but they're thankful that they, they think they had enough warning for this flood. So they were able to get things, uh, get their products moved in time. Now, uh, earlier when the water was up here through the main street, there was quite a crowd of people on the side taking photos and snapping videos, video calling friends and just watching what was happening. Uh, power crews are back on the scene now trying to restore power to the town as parts of the power was shut off as the flood was rising. But this main street is still blocked off to most major traffic cross. OK, Toby, thank you. The flooding has kept emergency services busy. Here's Kevin Walsh, Deputy Commissioner of QFES. Kevin, thanks so much uh, for your time today. So which are the areas causing you most concern this afternoon? Good morning. So we're really keeping an eye uh, north of Brisbane. So we had a major event on the north side of Brisbane around Moreton Bay Regional Council overnight. Um, that's where the ma major impacts were. But the current uh, severe weather warning by the Bureau is now uh, right, right across uh, from Redcliffe up through Gympie, up to Bundaberg and out to Kingaroy. So there's a large area now that's in the firing line for this heavy uh, downpour. And of course, because the ground is so saturated, the creeks are full, uh, there's potential for some um, uh, incidents this afternoon. So we're really encouraging everyone to, to stay aware of the surroundings are throughout the afternoon. So how many calls for help have you received so far and what sort of emergencies are involved? Yeah, so, so far we've had uh, about 100 calls to the State Emergency Service and that's um, mainly around leaky roofs and some um, damaging um, some trees down as well. Uh, we've had 30 calls to the Fire and Rescue Swift Water Rescue Technicians overnight. Uh, the majority of those were in the Moreton Bay area uh, and some of those also occurred in Somerset and Lockyer Valley as well. So it's, it was covered a large area, uh, but we've seen the worst in the Moreton Bay area uh, overnight. OK, but so far everybody's all right? Yeah, the good news is that everyone is OK. Uh, a lot of people relocated just through safety. So at Bray Park on the north side of Brisbane, about eight to ten houses, people decided to uh, relocate to, to safety um, as the water was rising. But the good news is that uh, the water's receded in that Bray Park area and the, those people will likely return uh, today. But uh, we are keeping an eye on this system as it moves slowly northwards, uh, north of Brisbane. And are many people without power right now, Kevin? Uh, there are a number of people who have power. The latest numbers are on the Energex uh, website and, and people can track uh, the recovery in the powers and where the areas are out through the Energex website. So if people are interested in that, if they're affected, I encourage everyone to go on and have a look at the latest information. OK. Any communities, any places that have been cut off by the flooding? 
Uh, there's a large number of, uh, there's actually a large number of, of streets that are impacted. So we've had uh, from the early hours of this morning, certainly at Sanford and Strathpine, north of Brisbane, and uh, there's expectations, obviously, there's a low, uh, slow moving system uh, moves northwards that we could get more roads shut this afternoon. But uh, certainly on the north side of Brisbane, there's still a number of roads closed and all of those details are on the TMI website as well. So people can keep abreast of what's happening in terms of road closures. OK, and how many volunteers are helping with the emergency effort now? And will you need more? Oh, we're well, we're well versed with the, uh, this type of response. Our state emergency service volunteers are out at the moment and uh, are getting through the jobs well. Uh, as I said, the good news is that we've only had about 100 calls to the SES and most of those are on the north side of Brisbane. So we've got plenty of crews on the ground and we should be able to, to get through those jobs. We've got ample resources to get through that type of number, uh, and certainly on the north side of Brisbane. OK, so as you said, there's uh, more rain forecast. What's your advice to locals as this extreme weather continues? Yeah, look, it's really important for people to take heed of the warnings that come out of the Bureau and the local governments as well, and uh, obviously Queensland Fire and Emergency Services. But the most important thing is uh, if you are out on the roads, I, I know we continue to send this message out, but we still see people caught on the road when these quick flood events happen. And if it is flooded, forget it. Look for an alternative route and please don't travel through any type of water in the next couple of days. Kevin Walsh, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Thanks, Ross.